felt as if I deserved those things. I felt as if it was unfair. Sometimes things get worse before they get better. Sometimes we pray for things, we wish for things, but we never get our blessings. We never get our big break. Why is that? Why is that? Sometimes it feels as if we are stuck in a dark place and we are not moving. Things are not changing. There are things that I used to pray for and I would get frustrated when I didn't receive those blessings. I would cry to the Lord and ask him, why is it that you're denying me this thing? I'm praying every day. I'm fasting. I'm doing this and that. And you're not blessing me with these things. Why is that? And I would really get so disheartened by that, by the weight, because I felt as if I deserved those things. I felt as if it was unfair. But you know what? I've since realized that at the time when I was praying for those blessings, when I was crying to the Lord, bless me, bless me, bless me. I wasn't actually prepared to receive those blessings. I wasn't in the right frame of mind to handle the blessings that I wanted at the time. I wasn't ready. So this is where preparation comes in. The key is in the preparation. You've got to be ready to get to the other side. You've got to be ready for your blessings. And that requires a lot of preparation. And that preparation phase can be long, painful, and hard. You may need to do some soul searching. You may need to look at yourself and be brutally honest with yourself. Ask yourself, are you moving the right way? Are you in the right place and space to receive those blessings? Will you be able to manage those blessings? If and when they come and if the answer is no guess what it means you need to shift things around you it may mean that you may lose some friends you may need to change your circles the way you move you may need to reframe your mind your thinking your methods your approach you need to get to that place of readiness for you to, to get your blessings this is what I've realized that sometimes we cry for things. We ask, why, why, why am I not getting this? God and the universe, they, they can see that you're not ready for what you're asking for. You haven't reframed your mind. You haven't changed your character. You're not the right person for those kind of blessings. So unless you work on yourself, the doors of blessings will not open. This is what I've realized. It is only when you start to move in a way that shows that you are getting ready or you're ready to handle your blessings. That's when doors start to open. The Bible talks about to whom much is given, much is required. I may be butchering the verse, but basically what it means is that sometimes God with, withholds blessings from us because he knows you're not ready to receive those blessings. He knows you won't be able to handle that responsibility. Because if you're praying for bigger things, that's, that comes with a bigger responsibility. That comes with wisdom. It requires that you're wise enough to handle those blessings when they come. So are you wise enough right this minute to handle what you're asking for? Suppose you're praying for a bigger house you want a mansion or you want more money and now right now you live in a flat a tiny flat but you don't even know how to clean that flat you don't even know how to take care of what's in that flat how then do you expect to be able to look after a big house and you want more money and you can't even budget the little that you have, you can't even stick to your budget. When you go to the shops, you get taken by the things that you see and you deviate from your budget. How then do you expect to look after more money? How then do you expect to act responsibly for when those bigger blessings come? Suppose you're going through a dark time in your life and you're praying to God, you're crying to God to pull you out of the dark hole 
you're praying for God to bless you, to change things in your life, for things to get better. But perhaps that experience is there for a reason and that reason could be the experience wants to teach you a lesson, wants to teach you something, something important. Perhaps that experience is there to make you wiser, but you keep missing the lessons. And we wonder, why is it that I keep going round in circles? Why am I stuck in this space that I don't want to be in? Why do things seem to get worse and worse every time I try to make things better? Why is it dark like this in my life? It is because there's a lesson there. Until you learn the lesson, it will feel as if you're stuck in that space. It will feel as if you're fighting a losing battle. Because at the time when I was praying for that thing, when I was wishing for it, I wasn't in the right frame of mind. I wasn't in the right place in my life to handle what I was asking for. You need to get to that place of readiness. What this also implies is that you hold the key to your blessings and you can actually block your own blessings. So it all starts with you. It hinges on you. So this is what I've come to realize. 